Welcome back to another session of Anubhav Shah Photography. In this session, we are going to talk about how to create dispersion splatter effect in Photoshop. And we will quickly see how to convert this to this. So this is the next series of our artful session, which is based on dispersion splatter effect. Dispersion splatter effect is a kind of effect in Photoshop in which technique you can use in which you can produce a very beautiful way and in which you can generate an artistic look in any image that your image is produced in a very different dimension. So today we will learn this magical technique that we will see how to use dispersion splatter effect and how to use images in a different dimension. So hello and welcome to the people. This is Anubhav Shah Papa. Anubhav Shah Fajal. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, first thing first, let's open Photoshop and open the model image. So for this session, we are going to use this pretty model, which I downloaded from unsplash.com. And this creative work is from Usma Azam. So let's start quickly. First of all, we'll just double click on this background and we will convert it to the layer. We will make another copy by pressing command J or control J in Windows. We'll call it model. We'll call it backup. We will disable it. We don't require it as of now. We will just select the model layer and then we will quickly select pen tool and we'll start selecting some portion from her dress. Once the circuit is done, just right click on it, go to make selection, press OK. Just select the model layer and do the command J. Now one selection is done. So this is the selection, we'll call it selected dress. Now we will just select selected dress and we'll go to filter liquify. After coming to this screen, we'll select forward wrapping tool. This is the forward wrapping tool, the first one. And we will just select or drag the dress portion randomly to left, right, bottom. You don't have to be specific, just spread it randomly. Perfect. Now just press OK once this is done. After achieving it, just enable your model layer. Now you have model and the dress. So after doing it, we will just select the selected dress layer and we'll make another copy. We'll disable it for a while and we'll drag it to the bottom. We'll select this particular layer and we'll generate the mask. And now make sure to select the foreground color as black. Once this is done, just do Alt Backspace. Perfect, so it will just fill the masking layer to the black and the selected dress portion will be invisible on the layer. Now, once this is done, just press on your model image, press Shift and click on this particular selection once. You will notice that while selecting this model layer, your portion will be selected. Just quickly go to clone stamping tool and by holding Alt, take the sample and start painting. And why we actually made this selection? Because you are noticing that whatever action we are doing outside the image, it is not happening. But whatever we are painting inside it, the effect is coming. Once you have achieved it, just do Command D to deselect. And don't worry about these hard uh, edges. We'll just take the sample from here and we can just roughly click here. So we have this particular bottom part and the model image. Perfect. We will now again enable our masking. Now we will quickly select the brush of the splatter effect to generate the effect on the dress. And to do so, we will select the masking and we will go to the brush. We will select one splatter effect brush. And do not worry if you do not have this brush, just message to me or comment to us. We will quickly send to you all the packages of these brushes right away. And this is absolutely free for you. Do not worry. And these packages just one message away from you. Now select the masking and increase the size of brush and just click here and there. Make sure your brush is selected and foreground color should be white. We will just open the settings and uh, we will use this circular wheel to change the direction of the effect.
you can toggle between white and black foreground color to just reveal or hide the effect as per your requirements. Once this is done, just go to the brush again and select soft round. Select the masking again and make sure the foreground color is selected as white and decrease the size and start painting on the dress. Now, after achieving it, you are almost done and we are noticing a few gray spots here. Do not worry, just toggle between white to black and start painting here. It will be removed. Once you are done, just press Command or Control 0. Now this is blended very perfectly and we are almost done. The final step which we are going to do is, we'll just make another layer and we'll select brush, we'll make foreground color as black. And by selecting the brush tool, we will increase the size of brush and we will make one particular click here, just like that. And then we will rename it to shadow. And then we will just select the shadow layer, command T to transform and just move it something like this. So it will give a very nice shadow effect to the image and it will give very beautiful effect to our model as if she's floating in the air. This is a really amazing trick. Once you have satisfied, just press enter and decrease the opacity. And finally, we will just select one level layer to adjust the levels of this image. So this is fine. And we'll go to finally to curve layer and we'll increase black portion of this image. And we will quickly go to elliptical marquee tool we will just make one ellipse just like that and we will just press command i command d then filter blur caution blur we will increase radius so that the hard edges will be dissolved press ok and we will decrease the opacity as well so we are almost done and uh, we will see what we have achieved so beautiful in it. So we started with this picture and we have achieved this beautiful effects. Before, after, before, after. This is so amazing. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. All right, so Jessica, we have seen that the dispersion splatter effect is so easy to achieve in Photoshop and how easy to apply the results in the dynamic results. When you dispersion splatter effect, you can use any image that is dull or you have to use any other artful effect in any image, so you can change your image in a different dimension very quickly. So, this is a really wonderful technique and I would really wait to see your stunning results. In case you find any difficulty using Photoshop or photography, you can go to our website www.anubhavshahphotography.com or you can comment in comment section. And if you have not subscribed my channel right now, please go and subscribe and hit the bell icon. So, अपनी इस artful series की next upcoming video को लेकर बहुत जल्दी लौटेंगे आपके पास. Meanwhile, stay fit, stay healthy, be happy. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Sharma Photography. Signing off.